Hello again. Here's a quick and easy way to add hard-edged camouflage to your models. It's time for another Scale War Machines how-to guide. Today we'll be looking at a product that model makers are sure to find useful. Panzer Putty by M Expression. Panzer Putty is sold under reference MXA001. It's designed as an airbrush accessory, and the idea is that it helps with your spray painting. As such, it can be used in a number of ways to get different effects. It comes in a metal tin, and when you first open it, here's what you get. Panzer Putty is a smooth, glossy, black material that looks like something out of a science fiction movie. The label says it's an intelligent product, but what does that mean? Well, firstly it means that it has a number of unique properties that we will explore. Secondly, it means its consistency may surprise you. When you first take it out, what hits you is that it's hard, not soft. This is because it's what's called a dilatant silicon. That means it can be hard or soft, depending on how you handle it and how you manipulate it. It can either snap or gently be pulled into strings. It all depends on how much force you use. So once you get used to it, you can learn how to handle it. By being more gentle, you can pull it to form strings or flatter sections. The idea behind all this is to create masks for painting. Some modellers may be aware that you can use silly putty for this task but it doesn't behave the way Panzer Putty does. So here's how to use it as a masking aid. We'll use this simple test piece which we've primed in a sand shade. To get a stripy camouflage scheme, we cut off little slivers of Panzer Putty. As you can see, it's easy to roll the slivers or vary their thickness. Next, the clever bit. Leave the putty for a few minutes, letting it sit allows it to bed down under its own weight. This is one of the intelligent properties of Panzer Putty. With time, it can smooth itself out. Once you're done with that, you can spray over the top. And there you go, a convincing stripy camo scheme. To replicate the German ambush scheme, Gently pull the putty into tiny flat strips. Then cut irregular shapes with a scalpel and place on your subject. Once set, simply spray on top. Use the Panzer putty to pick up the flex. Again, this is another useful property. You can use the putty to make smooth or hard edge camouflage masks, depending on how you roll it and how you shape the edge. Here we're making two types of edge. Firstly a hard edge, and secondly a smooth edge spaghetti type camo scheme. Don't forget you can also use Panzer Putty to hold objects in place. Here, a spray stencil, but it could also be an item for soldering. And here's the Panzer Putty in use on an SDKFZ251 half track. We've already base coated the model and we cut different shape strips and blobs to create the pattern. It's easy to refine the edges with a simple tool. We then spray over the top in different camouflage colours. Touching up and redefining edges is easy. Any underspray is simply touched up. Any overspray can be removed. The half track is now decked out in an effective camouflage scheme and is ready for all the next weathering stages to come. You can then roll up your Panzer Putty and put it away. You'll see that with time, it will again smooth itself out and absorb all the paint. 
it's certainly a useful addition to any modeler's arsenal. There's no end of possibilities, and you can visit the manufacturer's website for more potential uses. Just remember that if you're making an intricate or complex scheme with multiple pieces, if you touch two bits of panzer putty together, they will bond and are hard to separate. So always keep them apart. If you like the look of panzer putty, it's available from Hysterex Agents. Thanks for watching this how-to guide. Please support our sponsors by clicking on their links. There's more videos on the website and you can check out our Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter communities. Bye for now.